Hello and thank you for coming to check this out. This is just a really quick post to look at some more ways that we can use the liquify filters. So that these two filters here, a combination of levels and Gaussian blur. If you haven't seen these filters before, then there's a link for you in the description to go and check out the tutorial at the Motion Love YouTube channel and that will show you how to set them up and all the settings etc. Um, so I've been playing around with different ways you can use the filters, just experimenting with lots of different elements in motion and I want to just point out to you now uh, how to get this kind of morphing effect going. So uh, it's very simple to set up it's just using fade in and fade out. So if you can see in the timeline here, I have uh, fade in over 15 frames and fading out over 15 frames. So, and then the next element, so this heart you can see is fading in over 15 frames as this element is fading out. And so with the liquify filters applied, they melt in to each other and we get this, I think it looks quite cool, this morphing effect. And best of all is that the colors blend in quite well together as well. So here comes the M and the O, T and so on. Alright, so there you go. I just wanted to show you what I found and that's it. I hope that's useful for you. Thanks for checking it out.